Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you Friday morning for the U.S. Payroll Day. May 4th, end of the first week in May. It's been a pretty good week. Yesterday we got paid uh, dollar yen, cad yen. But let's go to the equities. Where we were sort of all in on the 200 day break yesterday. We were short at very good levels uh, 26, 25 ish for a nice amount. And things were looking pretty good there for a while when we were down at 25.91. But as is sometimes the case with these obvious levels that are looked at. Uh, by too many people. The market got caught short and it ended up being a scratch for us, which was a real shame. But I would say professionally done. Uh, and so today, we are certainly not sellers of equities until we can get down through this 2591. This 200 day means less to us. This 2591 now is the bull bear point, and above that, uh, we think the bulls have control. We don't favor the long side, um, but just have to admit, especially if we make a new high today, this is a bullish candle. This is a reversal candle, similar to this candle here, which, this candle here, and this one here, but this one's even more powerful, longer wick. So. Let's keep an eye on the high from yesterday, 26, 36 and a quarter, five handles away. Uh, but let's not get carried away. Um, Non-farms is the, is the game today, and that means it's a dollar day, m much less an equities day. So let's head over to the dollar and see what we're going to do, how we're going to make some money today. Uh, cable dojied on the uh, dailies. 200 day coincided with the exact low yesterday. So this is if we get a strong, uh, strong U.S. number rates higher through the low end cables, even though it's awkward and feels uh, stretched. This is our horse if we get a strong one. Uh, on the same token, if we get a weak one, we also don't mind. Depending on where we are, if, we, if we're up at 136 to figure, we don't mind uh, buying cable as well for the same reason that it is stretched. So, and then if we get a Goldilocks one, you just kind of, kind of leave it alone. Um, the results of the elections yesterday in the UK were there were some gains in pro-Brexit areas, uh, but the key results in the London area haven't really been cleared up yet so initial accounts forecast a swing to labor but not really some watershed event so it turned out to be pretty much a, a dud as far as market moving let's look at euro not really sure on this I mean obviously the trend is lower now um, kind of a binary situation there will be stops above 12017 which is this 200 day uh, but if you look at the DXY in general, which is 60% Euro, there's going to be bids here at 92. So, quite cautious, uh, unless we get a real dud of a number. Quite cautious. No trade in Euro. Dollar Swiss, we printed a double top at parity. Again, it's awkward to buy Dollar Swiss because of this extended price action. But oftentimes these make for the best momentum trades when it's awkward. And we have this scenario here where we've got parity psychological and then we've got even more importantly 10034. So if we get a boomer, I could easily see dollar Swiss close above 10034 in like a sort of a shocker. And no one's gonna have this 
everyone I know is trying to fade dollar Swiss just because of these number of green bars but the awkward uncomfortable trades are often often the best ones the ones that are also backed up with technicals and, and fundamentals but this uh, this checks that box awkward dollar yen on the other hand looks pretty bearish on a weak one quite happy to sell dollar yen 108.93 the low yesterday and today uh, we squared our shorts at the figure just quite happy to smash and grab on that but if I were a longer term trader I would be like hmm this looks uh, this looks this looks okay here um, sort of an indecision day on Wednesday FOMC printed 110 big red day yesterday and then there was no real snapback when the equities turned higher so if it's a weak one dollar yen could be your horse Aussie was higher overnight RBA's SOMP was mixed but uh, Aussie was better bid I guess because the core inflation call was higher so I don't really know what to do with the Aussie here. Uh, definitely happy to sell it up at 76.40, um, but uh, no real trade in the Aussie. And then finally, dollar CAD. No CAD employment numbers today, but now we're, we're we've done some work here. We've done some sideways work. This thing gets bullish. We break out above 129, bearish below 128, uh, depending what oil's doing. You might like dollar cad. Uh, speaking of oil, let's take a quick look. Same type of price action as dollar cad. Teasingly bearish at the lows, teasingly bullish at the highs, but really just sideways action. And we're waiting for uh, basically 69.69 to break or uh, 68.88 to break. So. Oil's pissing me off, um, which is never a good sign, so I'm just avoiding it now. One last thing, uh, for those of you who uh, follow South American stuff, Dollar Argentina, Dollar Ars, rallied five and a quarter percent, touching an all-time high of 22.40 last night. I don't even know if this chart system has dollar... Yeah. Uh, just interesting. Rates are 33% here. Um, crazy. I don't know what to do with it. I certainly am not suggesting to fade it. Uh, I'm just bringing it up because it is interesting and, and uh, it's just a real conundrum how that country is so fucked up. Just from a, from a local perspective, all the Argentinians that I meet, a lot of rugby dudes over here in, in, in uh, continental Europe, all very uh, good, balanced, normal, educated people. Boy, what a disaster that place is. One of the things that I thought about was maybe uh, trying to buy some assets in uh, Argentina on like a quarter leveraged basis. This is a game that we play uh, with the Turkish Lira. There's an ETF TUR uh, that we like. I have to do some research on it. Uh, I don't know really, I don't know how to profit uh, on this. Farmland in Argentina comes to mind. But uh, anyway, just sharing. Dollar Rs, taking it. Anyway, gents, ladies, I will uh, see you closer to uh, New York Open, and we can talk some more about non-farms. Take it easy this morning, and uh, sharpen the knives for the afternoon session. Good luck out there. Ciao.